do a bit of Mozart, okay. do a chunk. I'll listen, um, and then uh, kind of talk about a little bit about it, and then uh, uh, come back and, and do some awesome. stuff. Good. Okay. You want to do it? Or to the top of the Mozart, and uh, here we go. Okay, so it's just right up, right, right at the very, very top. It's just, man, you have to listen to each other. And do you hear where it's, where it's not locking in? Yeah. Where is it? Where's it not locking in? Yeah, it's just like right over there. Dip, beep, 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 pop, 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 pop. It's just right over that bar line. Again, close your eyes, listen to each other. One, two, three. <gasps> Good. And now that was much better. It's really starting to hang together. Now the last, last thing we got to do is put even more of a kick in the pants on that last eighth so, note. De 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 ba 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 ba. Always give the, that energy going over the bar. Here we go. Try one more time. Again, closing your eyes. Two, three. <gasps> They sound like a lot of trippers. Make sure that those sixteenth notes are snappy. The other thing Good. And now here let's 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 do a little bit of uh, uh, Mozartian magic. Uh, and oftentimes, and you know, Louis Langry is great at this. Uh, if you've ever heard his recordings of Haydn and Mozart, there's always a sense of not wanting to spike the cadence. You know, you know they spike the landing. You know, you always see it in, in, the, in the Olympics, right? You know. <laughs> well, we don't want to spike the cadences. And we've got a big cadence point, 14, 15, 16, 17, bar 17, right there on that big downbeat. There we go. One, two, three. <gasps> <laughs> Keep it tick. <laughs> Yes, that was it. Good. Good. That was it. I want to try that one more time. Your eyes and really listen to each other. One and two and. And amazing. That was right, right there. And again, we have to really focus on our, on our listening skills. Or probably one of your most important tools in orchestral performance is listening not just to yourself but everyone else. Good. <gasps> Okay, good. Now, take it, 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 take it. One, two, three, and. Okay, not bad. Now we got some people who want to dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Where it's getting faster and faster, we have to put that little pulse. Dig it, 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 dig it. One, two, three, four. Feel that little pulse, please. Great. That's it. And you can feel, all of a sudden, you can feel that rhythm really locking in. And that's the coolest thing about seconds and violas is, is, is you guys are the mechanism of rhythm. I mean, it's what holds the whole thing together. And if this thing gets off, everything else falls at the wayside. So let's take it one more time. Two, three, four. Did it stick together? 
Yes, because yeah. everyone was listening to each other. How fantastic. Okay, let's do the exact same thing. We're going to speed up the tempo. One, two, three. <gasps> Quality sound, long phrase, and again going with the line, bigger, keep it big and Fantastic. And did you hear the difference? There are all those points that you really have to be aware of, of being able to lock in. Now there